Hey guys, keeping for you. Today, I'm going to show you all of my cubes that I have as of January 8th, 2020. 1. 2021. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start out with my 2 by 2s Uh, they're pretty good. Like, I have, I've had this one for a couple of months and this one for a while now. Uh, I started cubing in March of 2020, so... That's when I got quite a few of these. I got a pack of 10, so yeah. And then I got my three by threes. I have four of them, I guess. So yeah, I have this Rubik's brand, Rubik's Cube. This is the first one. That was loud. That was the first one I ever got. Then I got this one, I think it's a Yuchi. And then uh, I ripped all the stickers off, except for the cross, because I wanted to practice. Then I got an MJC Elite. It's pretty fun. It was my old main. Then I got my new main. It's the Moyu Weilong WRM 2023x3. <laughs> it's a pretty fun one. Uh, it's my new main. And then I have my 4x4s. They're nice. I got this one because it was basically free when I calculated shipping. <laughs> And then uh, I got my 5 by 5s This one, it turns like, it turns well. It just won't stay together like at all. And then I got my Mega Minx and my Kilo Minx. I don't really do these quite often because I don't like them. <laughs> but you might. Uh, and then I got my Square One. It's a fun puzzle because you get to uh, show your friends and they're like, that's not possible, you're cheating. And I got my Scube and my Master Scube. I haven't solved my Master Scube yet, but it sucks to say the least. Sorry if that offends anybody. <laughs> and then I got my Pyraminx. I've been practicing it a lot. Yeah, I average about like 15 seconds. And then I got my 6x6, it's a MGC, it's a really well made 6x6, and then my 7x7, it's a MGC I want to say, and like, it's probably the best 7x7 that I think anybody could make, like, it's such a good cube. And then I got my 8x8, this, I don't think, oh it has okay corner cutting I guess, yeah. But I don't like it. <laughs> and then I got my Rubik's Impossible. It's hard. I haven't ever solved it. <laughs> then I got a picture cube. Just as picture cubes corner cutting can be. It got what? Half a degree. <laughs> and then I got a twisted 3x3. Three three. It's really fun. I enjoy it a lot. And then I got an access cube. It's hard, but, well, I, I wouldn't say hard, I guess, but, like, it doesn't work like it should. <laughs> it's a 3x3 three three mod, so, yeah, what you can expect from that. Then I got a Fisher cube. I actually quite enjoy this a lot. And then... I got two windmill cubes, uh, this one just is circular, and this one is, uh, square on the corners and stuff. Those, I used to love doing those when I started, because they were like a harder version of the 3x3. Three three. And then I got my two mirror cubes. They're really nice. I still love doing that. And then I have a... Like a perplexus 2x2. Two two. It's really easy to cheat. You just like throw it up there and boom, you won. And then I got an 18 centimeter 3x3. Three three. It's about as big as my head. And now I have timer, stack mat timer somewhere down there. I have this broken ivy cube because. I took it apart and I can't put it back together. Rip. But yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll probably do one of these at the end of 2021 to 
see what I've gained, see if I've lost any by dropping them. But yeah, see you in the next one. Before we end it, I just wanted to say I bought a lot of these on like Amazon and Speed Cube Shop. And I love the cubes from Speed Cube Shop. They're great. Uh, Amazon, get what you pay for, but they are pretty good quality. Uh, if you're just starting out, uh, I'd buy like a 10 pack and then you can just work your way up and up. It's a great way. That's how I started. Uh, just keep practicing. Yeah, I bought, I bought a lot of these in like March of 2020 or probably May or something. And I've just played with them and loved them. Uh, it's not so much, I guess, like for me, the, like, how fast you can solve the weird ones like the access cube and like that it's just like getting good at learning so that when a cube that you need to learn uh comes up then like you can learn it kind of like three by three like i started out beginner's method then i learned a bunch of cubes and then when i came back to learn like cfop and full pll like it just was really well so yeah Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like and comment if you have any questions or concerns. The links uh, for all these cubes are in the description below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.